Hi and welcome to my second video regarding uh, the Azure Cap in uh, IPv4 and IPv6 dual stack enabled network. Uh, as I said, it's a second video. In my previous video, we uh, had a look at the IP ARP and NDP poisoning to redirect both address families through the attacker running Azure Cap. This time we will have a look at a different approach by using a plugin called DNS Booth. I've prepared a few slides I would like to go through first uh, to outline the background of this uh, technique. First we will have a look at how the protocol to reach out to a dedicated server is being selected in a dual stack network. Imagine we have a communication from a host to a server, the host is dual stack, the servers as well dual stack. And the host is uh, normally not connecting directly by the IP, if the user is not typing in the IP address. Typically the user is uh, typing in a domain name which needs to be resolved first. For this, a DNS or two DNS queries are sent to the DNS resolver, qu uh, asking for the A record, meaning the IPv4 address, and the quad A record for the domain name, meaning the IPv6 address information. Um, given the uh, fact that the DNS resolver is capable or has the information for both records for both queries, it responds back. First answer the A record with IPv4 and the quad A record with IPv6 address. Now the host has uh, two possibilities to reach out to the server and it's up to the host, the operating system of the host, to choose which address family is actually being used to reach to the server. Um, as far as I know, if not configured as explicitly in a different way, um, the um, operating system is always using the IPv6 address family over the IPv4 address family. In such a case, the host will most probably connect to the server using the IPv6 address family. Let's have a look at a different scenario, which is also quite typical in reality. Imagine we have the same network, we have our host, dual stack, and we have our server with IPv4 only connectivity. For that, let's assume that the DNS has only also only information about the IPv4 address. What's, what happens with the domain name query it, the host again sends out two queries asking for IPv4 and IPv6 to the DNS resolver and the DNS resolver is responding back again to replies. Here we have to understand that in DNS each query has to be um, responded by a dedicated um, answer. The IPv4 answer is the same as before, and for the uh, quad A record, it's sending back a negative cache response specified in RFC 2301 uh, 08, um, telling the host that for this address family, for this domain name, there is no address information, and there is no need to query again. Uh, for this type of address family. Now the host has no other choice to connect to the server using the IPv4 address. Now, if we think of my first video, I outlined that it's quite complicated to redirect the IPv4 and IPv6 uh, traffic through the attacker running at a cap because you have to take care of the uh, ARP and the NDP poisoning with um, 
all the specifics to be covered. Here we will do only the the R poisoning, only redirecting IPv4 uh, traffic. IPv6 traffic we won't touch with adder cap and we will I will show you how we will use the DNS spoof plugin to redirect um, as well the IP not the IPv6 but the uh, traffic that is normally meant to be connected to the server over IPv6. What we will do here is in our Atto DNS file we will add a record saying we have the domain example.org the quad a record points to the default or the unspecified address here with colon colon and I said that we only do IPv4 um, a man in the middle attack using ARP poisoning we will see the query, the DNS query at the attacker and now the DNS spoof plugin comes into play. So we said that example.org has an undefined address so we don't want to uh, that the host gets the uh, IP information for this record type. It will send the A record just uh, to the DNS resolver, let him reply back and respond back to the host with the information of the IPv4 and it will spoof the negative cache reply back to the host. Remember that the server uh, would have been able to connect through IPv6 but we've spoofed a DNS reply that it doesn't have an IPv6 address so the host doesn't know any other information. The host now don't has any other chance to connect to the server using the IPv4 uh, address family which we in turn uh, already poison and so this traffic will also be redirected through our attacker. Here we have to mention that there is uh, one uh, drawback or um, one thing to consider that this approach is only working as you would uh, logically um, see here um, that the DNS resolver is being referred to the client by IPv4 address otherwise we wouldn't see the DNS query uh, over the IPv6 address family so let's have a look at, at what we talked about. In dual stack networks, um, hosts always query uh, for both address families. The host is responsible to choose the address family based on the results that has been um, returned by the DNS resolver. And what we do with EtherCap that we spoof also negative responses and so be able to influence the protocol family, address family selection for uh, the specific connection. And as I said, this only works uh, as long as IPv4 has been used for DNS name resolution. Okay. Let's have a look at the demo. Here I have my Ubuntu uh, running at a cap, and here I have my victim running Debian. Uh, let's let's um, only focus on the DNS part uh, first resolve the domain name for example google.com here we have many um, IPv4 addresses one IPv6 address and let's skip the mail part what we do now on EtherCap is that we will modify our Etherdns DNS 
a configuration file. the password sorry for that so usually if not differently specified it's located in etc cap and the file is called adder.dns Exactly. So what we just will do is uh, we will delete all the uh, examples in the file and uh, what we'll do is type in the google.de uh, quad a record colon colon. Save it. So now I will launch um, at a cap to uh, the host scan. So I know that this one is my router. I added to target one. Um, what is the Debian system? Let's check the host names. This one is my Debian system, so add it to target 2. And do the ARP poisoning uh, with bidirectional uh, traffic. And what we also have to do is we have to enable the DNS spoof plugin. All right, that has been done. Now back to my victim. We launch the same command, um, calling for the address information for Google. Sorry. Uh, de. So, and here we see that we have, we get the message that we. Um, spoof the negative cache for google.de and um, I will disable it now to uh, show the that this query would also return an IPv6 address here. Now stop the man in the middle attack. Okay. Stop at a cap. Go back to my editor.dns file. Um, and the editor.dns file also supports wildcards. So what we could do here is we just put just the star for matching all queries for quad A records and returning the negative cache response. Launching up editor cap again. Because um, if I change the editor DNS file, uh, it's been read only at startup of editor cap. So each time I modify the editor DNS file, I have to uh, restart editor cap. Okay, uh, what was the name? This one is my router, this one is my victim. Do the ARP bidirectional poisoning and enable uh, the DNS spoof plugin, but we wait a bit to do before we do that. Now, for example, I will check the IP address information for facebook.com, for example. Um, so we have quite a bit. And now I will enable the DNS spoof plugin and I will launch the uh, wrong window, the same command. And we'll see again that we now miss the 
IPv6 address information in the DNS response and the client has the only uh, possibility to connect to the to Facebook using IPv4 and so uh, we only have to take care about our poisoning and adder cap by using this ad this uh, little trick with uh, DNS spoof plugin. Of course um, the same is possible if we uh, uh, would do if we would turn turn it around um, so for example here we have also to specify the undefined address which is different in IPv4 it's uh, meaning the same everything is set to zero just the notation is different um, so let's start again at our cap Now we, we will turn it around and um, let's let the IPv4 address information be uh, to be disappear. So this is my router, this is my victim, do the uh, poisoning and uh, manage the plugins list again at the first check this is the result for google.de we activate the DNS spoof plugin oops wrong window we launch the command and we will see that all the IPv4 address information has gone away oops here we go only the IPv6 address family left yeah as is as I said it's you can combine it as you want um, but here showing you uh, the way how to uh, redirect all traffic from a victim to a server which are both uh, IPv4 and IPv6 tool stack enabled by just faking the um, the DNS responses to force the client always connecting through IPv4 and so in Adderkamp we only have to care about the ARP poisoning and not to care about poisoning of two different neighbor uh, discovery protocols. So this was it for this session I hope you enjoyed the video I uh, hope you will enjoy using Adderkamp um, remember that this feature uh, spoofing the negative cache responses ha uh, has been supported within the latest Adderkamp version so with all the versions you will not be able to do that um, yeah so for that I say thank you and uh, wish you fun with, with using Adderkamp watch out through uh, watch out for next videos um, I will post online with uh, other tricks uh, by using Adderkap and yeah just to say take care bye